Welcome to Archetypes. I'm Lee Woodruff, and I'm here with Veronique Pittman, who is an advocate and a mom who cares a lot about the environment and green causes. Was there one thing that happened? Was there a moment, like a visit somewhere, where it talked to us about that? Yes. I, uh, I had another life. Uh, I was assisting uh, in expeditions in the Himalayas and also um, film shoots. I was supposedly in one of the most beautiful places in the world that people uh, dream of going their entire lives, and there I was. And uh, it was one of the most depressing things sites I'd ever seen. Um, entire mountainsides were denuded, and the Norwegians and Japanese had set up nurseries to try to reforest these areas. Uh, the uh, yak herders were letting their yaks crash through the gates, and tiny saplings that had probably taken two years to get about this high at 14,000 feet were just getting yanked out like they were little sprouts of grass mm -hmm. and with and it's not and then you know the enormity of the problem became very clear it was nobody's fault there was actually a solution which was to convince people to adopt what was readily available and fairly cheap which would be uh, clean burning kerosene stoves that would have alleviated a lot of different problems at once and in what became even more clear to me was that it would have improved um, the chances for the women who were largely uh, responsible for collecting firewood, their chances of getting an education. These girls actually can't even attend school anymore because they're so busy having to go farther and farther for their resources. And so resource depletion becomes a social issue. And um, you realize that, these, that changing behavior is a very difficult thing. Yes. Now we've got a focus which I think every parent can relate to, which is yes. greening our schools. So can you... Tell us a little bit about that, and then sure. also for people out there who care about this issue, and not just our schools, but our public buildings and public spaces, what are some of the things you can tell us about this initiative? I became very aware of climate change. There was an article in The New Yorker where they were taking core samples and, and realizing that the Earth really was warming in an alarming way. Then the inconvenient truth came out, and I became better educated, and I was pretty much convinced that um, human activity was, in this case, causing the rapid um, warming of the Earth. Being from a European slash Asian family that were just green before green was a word, we, you know, and was not wasteful culturally, um, I really felt like there was a lot that people could learn. Uh, the school and that my children were going to were not terribly proactive um, on the green front. Um, so I started writing a Go Green newsletter um, uh, every two weeks for the school. And somebody told me that there was a woman who was um, basically leading a, a school-initiated school alliance. It was called the Green Schools Alliance. But I said, really, what we need to do is build a collaborative platform in which the schools are uploading their own best practices and resources. We now have uh, about 3,000 participating schools in 22 countries. When you're talking about greening the schools, or just being passionate about something, just being involved, because everybody, everybody feels better when you give back, what advice would you give them? I, my first piece of advice is actually a little more spiritual, is, is really take a back, believe that everything that you do really does matter, and, and really uh, really digest that idea that every action that you take really does impact the world in some small way. So even if you think you're cynical or you don't think that, um, that all this stuff is really contributing that much to global warming, which actually it isn't, the ripple effect of, of all of these actions really do add up. And what it does is it makes you a more conscious person. There are really so many different ways to do it, but just know yourself and know sort of what angle would be the easiest for you. And then just take Some people that just buy step. organic. Some people will just put a solar panel on their house. Um, uh, every, everything matters. So Vero, thanks for enlightening us about the green movement Thank and you. what you do in your passions, because I think you're going to get other people excited about finding theirs if they haven't already, and you may have. This is Archetypes, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.